Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are uh, in Safety Harbor and we are doing a bio slash ward. She did not pass away here. She passed away shortly after being removed from here at the hospital. Uh, the family lives out west and we have just a small list of things that we are looking for. It's a total clean out. Should be one day, but we are down a man because somebody called out, uh, which puts us just a little bit farther behind. We should be good. This is gonna be a whore bag today. Mm -hmm. We should have brought the big trailer. We're not removing carpet. Watch your back. That's the bio that we were told exists. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we didn't bring a bed. This is gonna be full of fun. There's one other bedroom somewhere. Okay. Oh my God. All right, so carpet's not getting removed, just total gut. That would probably be. Might as well be. No promises. That's the way it is. Yeah, like I anticipated me breaking something. Getting ready to really enjoy this job. That's what I'm doing today. Yeah, the one that has the lid is for like keepsakes and things like that. Yeah. Hey, do you want to start the morning off right? I mean, I'm joking, guys. <laughs> he was like really a, like hardcore. Can you dump this in the sink, please? I'm cleaning the biohazard part so we have just a little bit of blood over the mattress so it's super easy this is gonna take like 30 minutes cheers clink this is gorgeous like I could totally see this in my entryway what is that called foyer It is beautiful, but no. Is that like an old fashioned? Like, it, yeah, it's ringing right here. Is it got a cord? Yeah. I don't know where the phone is. This is just a receiver for it. Oh, no, I mean like, is it like corded? Oh, no. That's probably the coolest thing we've ever heard on a job. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Phone ringing? Yeah, the 1920s called. <laughs> Any money goes in that bin as well. Yeah, I got it. As we're going through the kitchen, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bottles of vodka. I also picked up three or four. I think three or four in the living room. I got one in the bag too. Plus one in the bag. So we're looking at. Please don't. Why would you do that right now? He opened the fridge. That was his initiation for later, but at least now he knows that what he's getting himself into. Um, so at a minimum, just walking in and being here for 20 minutes, we've seen 20 bottles of vodka. Vodka? Because I can't talk right? <laughs> um, 
some people just like to drink. Am I supposed to just smile? <laughs> There's lots of dead bugs in there. Looks like some mouse droppings too, down there. It's pretty nasty. I'm afraid to see what I find in there when I start digging through there and pulling all that crap out. I'm sure it's gonna happen, but so far it's, you know, somebody has to do it. Might as well be me. I got like an awesome quote for the day. Never bang your head, always hold it high. Look the world straight in the eye. Helen Keller. A little bit of positivity for the day. It is hump day. Yeah, we got this. Where's the fucking camel when we need it? I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it was hanging from the hook. This is a nice apartment. And it's, there is not like too much stuff. Uh, but we have a lot of furniture, so maybe we're gonna be here the whole day. That is good. Oh, Jesus nice. Christ, it must be nice to be 12 foot tall. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So we just had a guy, it's actually the first time it's ever happened to us, um, come to deliver a disconnection notice for the power because the bill hasn't been paid. So he's like, is the owner here? I'm like, no, they've since passed and family lives out west. And he's, he got really awkward because he was a young kid. I don't think he had ever had to deal with this before. And so he was gonna shut everything off. So I went outside and I was like, look, we're trying to clean up and pack up because the family isn't here. Is there a way you could just kind of leave it on for us? And he was like, yeah, don't even worry about it. He goes, I didn't even think about that, so you're good. So, communication is key when it comes to just random people trying to shut shit off. Jobs like this that kind of put you into a reality check on like cleanliness of your house and the items that you have and where you have them and things like that, because it's like, when you, when you pass away and you don't have any family or anything like that local, it's guys like that, that like guys like us that come in and abide by a small but very strict list of what's key. The good thing is, is uh, this family is awesome because they're donating everything um, furniture wise or clothing wise and things like that so that's really really awesome because then we can go from here to like a donation center just drop off a lot of places right now being just after the holidays aren't picking up so it's up to us to bring and call sometimes stuff like this sits in our warehouse for a couple of weeks or up to a couple of months just so we can kind of figure out what place is best for donations whether it be like children's shelters for children's clothes and children's furniture or like women's shelters for abused and battered women or people that don't have the means to be able to to get furnishings and things like that cool. now that stinks Ready yet? Oh. Because I'm about to dump this and go outside. Oh, are you serious? You did it again? It's gotta be done. So nasty. <laughs> so, since you decided to pour eggshell water down the drain, we, Juan and I came up to the conclusion because we both don't like pineapple, you can go get fucked. <laughs> it's brand new, it was in the wrapper. Oh, was it? <laughs> mama, mama. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hi, my name is Dakota. I'm the newest member of Spalding Decon. Uh, this is really my second job. So far, it's going good. Haven't encountered anything too crazy. It's not the one with that. See, it's stuff like this, which is perfect. It's like super gently used. Families who don't have anything can use this stuff. All I'm doing is separating garbage from, from paperwork and things like that. It's going. Not bad. I just like totally carby barbie to that, so I don't feel like doing anything anymore. But, oh my God, I freaking love these. They taste amazing. I'm ready. <laughs> Dakota. What? You want a snack? I just totally found some Tide Pods. Fuck yeah. Yes. Oh, fuck, you're right. I just got a notification. Oh, what? Heavy participation in Safety Harbor. Y'all? That's what we is. It's going rain. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Look at that. Safety Harbor, Florida. I'm going home. That's where we are. Nope. That area is fucked. Yep. So it's like avoid, 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 Easy avoid, enough. avoid. Bam! Hit! <laughs> it's cold. Get it, man. Huh? I said, get it, he man. Look at them triceps and biceps. <laughs> <laughs> it's really starting to rain now, so I'm just gonna go inside for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you forgot one! <laughs> I just wanna check if we have some stuff here. You remember when I climbed up my leg? Yeah. <laughs> I do not do well with rodents or bugs. I just don't do anything. I just don't do well with anything that's like creepy girl. Do you want to clean out this closet? Hey, you need a hand? Hardy har har. I kill myself. You need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> Roaches. Noodle. Do the noodle next. What is that's funny? Oh, he's in here. Find him? Or she. Or she. Excuse me, I'm not trying to like <laughs> identify the rat. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Good. Yep. Push. 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 Hey y'all, we are here on day two here in Safety Harbor and uh, we're starting in the bedroom, uh, trying to finish the last minute touch up stuff. Should be here a couple of hours. Something did change today. We've got Nick because Dakota had prior plans. So changing up the crew a little bit. 
see you guys inside. Just kidding. Ready? This is like a five man job. One momento. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. It's kind of dark and dreary, like my soul. You only wish your wood was that big. I don't. <laughs> one. Sorry, I'm not the one you're looking for. You stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did it! We're just trying to rearrange the trailer so we can take it to donation center. But it's all big bulky stuff, so we have to kind of play a game of Tetris. Three. Watch your guns. Good. Yeah, we're down. I'm gonna set it down. Yeah. Wow. Day two. What? Is it gonna fit? I hope. The other one did. I'm gonna have this hanging over my bed for my porn. Yeah, porn <laughs> musical. <laughs> That's the best thing. Hi. Oh. So you can make it across the carpet. Obstacles and all. No! <laughs> He's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. You gotta get over yeah, the top. Yeah, you're good. Oh, you're watch good. your head. Oh, how do you do that so easily? Oh. oh. He's gonna get the ladies. So we've been here for two hours exactly. We got here at 10.30. And pretty much got the place cleaned out uh, furniture wise that's being donated stuff that we can't donate we're just gonna throw in the dump trailer because we brought both trailers and then it's just uh tightening up at the place and making sure that it's nothing else that we missed it's, it's actually really it's perfect weather today for us to be working and kind of lifting furniture and things like that um, so we have the doors open to kind of air it out but it's also giving us a breeze because it's only 52 degrees at 12 30 so it's going really good today damn are you serious? <laughs> Yo. You can rock it. What you want, baby? I got what you need. Okay. You want Rolex? I got your Rolex. You need some cocaina? I got some cocaina. I got you. Could I rock this? Like, is this rockable? How you doing? Yeah, I could think. I think you could do an estimate with it. Yes. Oh my God, I'm gonna do the water job in this. Oh, shit. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Perfect. This thing is so warm. Already? Oh my God, like my ball sweat has ball sweat. Damn. Juan! Nice. Oh my God, I feel like I'm wearing the entire African safari. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it all by myself, yay! I did it. Look, we both did it, yay. Yeah, you wanna buy 
some seed. We are all done. Day number two complete. It has kind of warmed up to like 58 degrees. So it's been super, super pleasant. We have this trailer full of donation here. That trailer is another trailer full of garbage, stuff that we just, we can't donate. Getting ready to head out of here. Go back home, we're looking at probably an hour and a half's drive, if I remember from yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it guys. On to the next.